Oh. Yeah, your boy got his robe on. <clears throat> I had to get this review in because this show is off the chart. I'm about to tell y'all this right now. I'm not going to compare this to Game of Thrones. Because Game of Thrones was on a whole nother fucking world, goddammit. It had its own world. There's no show to me that comes close to Game of Thrones. But I'm going to tell you, ooh, with House of Dragon. The killing, the torture they do in this damn sh show. Ooh, ooh. Now, as far as the storytelling and the acting, I still believe Game of Thrones has an edge. But when it comes to the killing and the way they show it, the edge goes to House of Dragon. And I'm going to tell you, uh, it's crazy on Game of Thrones. The Lannisters are who, and like, they're in control. They are the house to be fucked with. The, Han the Lannisters. That house is a house to be fucked with. Then you got the Starks. And it goes on down from there. Targaryens. And on this show... The Targaryen family is what it's all about. Targaryen house. Rhaenyra, Daemon. Ooh, I'm telling you. Daemon. Actually, not even, not even Daemon. Like Viserys. His character is not as ruthless as Daemon. They're, they are brothers, by the way. Daemon and Viserys. And it's crazy. It's all about getting control. What house has the most power? Who sits on the throne? And it's that episode where Viserys sacrificed his wife... So his son can be born. Oh my God, that tore me in pieces watching that lady lay there like that. And they just ripped the the baby from her body. It's like just ripping her soul into pieces. It was said almost, I had to turn away. I could not watch that shit. Uh, they went on another level with that, for real. And Daemon, he's just a beast. He's a beast. That last episode I just watched, episode 3, when he was going at it, just killing everyone in sight. Dude got skills with that knife, with that sword, with whatever he had his hands on with his bare hands. Dude has skills. And I like the fact that Daemon and Renera are close. He's pr she's pretty much the only person that can talk him down like she did in episode 2. She stopped Mr. Hightower from getting just... He just would have got ran through, for real. I don't like Hightower. He's kind of fake to me. I'm not with him at all. Christian. Hopefully, we get to see him rise up in the ranks. You know what I'm saying? I think he's going to rise up in the ranks. He might end up being with Renera. And this girl is ruthless as they come. I like her attitude. I like how she doesn't back down to the king. Even though the king is really there for her. He's just confused right now. Because he don't know what to do. He didn't think he was going to have a son. Now he has a son. Another kid on the way. But he named Renera the heir to his throne. 
So it's up to her to name his son the heir. Because he can't take that back. I mean, he can. He's a king. But it won't be right. And Renera, you know, she's been through so much. And now they want her, you know, to find a husband. And that's not her style. Y'all already know who she reminds me of from Game of Thrones. One of my favorite characters in there. She she wasn't owned by anyone. She definitely did not want a husband. She used to give her dad a hard time, Mr. Stark. Who was killed off in season one, by the way. But, uh... The dragons are terrifying. Way more terrifying than the dragons on Game of Thrones. Way more terrifying. That fucking dragon that, uh, dragon that Daemon has. Oh my god. Whew. I can't even say how the fuck he even get on his fucking back. There's no way I can sit on the fucking back of that dragon. Mm -mm. But this show, I'm not going to give away a lot if, if you haven't watched it. It's it's breathtaking. It's there will be times where you will have to look away from your movie screen, whatever. You will have to look away from the screen. I'm telling you, there will be times. It was one part in particular where oh, I couldn't take it when um, the king Viserys they told him to put his hand. And a cup of maggots. Thousands of maggots. And he laid his hand up in that cup of maggots. And they were just swarming everywhere. Like all on his hand. And uh, he had he just laid it there. I hate maggots. They stink. I just uh they just disgusting to me. But for him to put his hand and let the maggots eat the dead flesh like the dead. Uh, whatever it was that was going on with his hand at the time but Hightower Odo Hightower said that's the best way to heal it is by letting the maggots eat off the dead whatever yeah, it, that was disgusting to me I've never seen that in movie history that was fucking disgusting but yeah this show is gonna be something to be reckoned with you know I gotta check out uh, that the Rings of Power I haven't seen that yet. I want to uh, finish House of Dragon first. I know it's every week one episode. I might just go ahead and jump into the Rings of Power Star watching that as well. Now, that's going to be tough because I don't know which one I'm going to choose between because I like them both. You see, I got all my Game of Thrones on this side here. And now I'm going to have to re-up and get... House of Dragon. Oh yeah, it's going down, y'all. It's going down. So hit me up and let me know what y'all like so far about the first three episodes. And are y'all looking forward to the rest of the episodes? As always, y'all know how we do. Remember, we doing this shit worldwide. Until next time, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Click that bell. And you already know. Peace, love, and deuces.